Welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Videos with Natalia. Today, we are now going to do question 8 of MAT 2021. The question asks for how to draw this graph. Now, they give you 5 different plots. And what's worse is that the test isn't allow any calculators. So you can't just plug in different values on X and see how it works. Well, anyways, we do, won't want to try that here. We'll take a more pragmatic approach using trigonometric identities. Now, look at this. Is it, you think it's very different from sine x, but no. This is another alternative nation for cos squared x and it works for any trigonometric function at all. Now let me write down the trigonometry identity I'm referring to. For those of you who know trigonometry, this will seem like a familiar sight to you. There, this is our trigonometry identity that we're using. Now we're going to simplify this expression in terms of sine. Sine x. When you're using parentheses, multiply by this number that's in front of it. So there's a negative sign, flip all the signs in the parentheses. Now you can regroup them to put the sine squared at the left, sine in the middle, and the constant terms at the right. This is a common this is a common tradition when working with quadratics. Now, we can express sine x as, say, another variable. What's your favourite letter? I'll say q. Now, we can put sine x as q. Then we'll write this substitution here. So, this graph, this expression now becomes 6q squared minus 8q plus 3. Now, let's draw a table. Sine x only holds the values minus 1 to 1. And is also rational at y is half and minus half. Now let me draw a table. Now let's write in some values. At 0, this expression is 3. At 1, this expression is 1. At half, this expression is, wait for it, half. Minus 1, this expression becomes 17. We won't need to write down the value for minus half here since we got the general shape of it. Now let's talk about this log 2 at the front. It's my favourite logarithm. <laughs> it's actually really my favourite logarithm. I like the sequence of doubling. It is very natural. I also like it when you convert uh, any arbitrary number at all and convert it into a sequence of doubles. For example, my favorite statement about log two is that log two three equals to 1.584, approximately to three decimal places. Anyways, this is very useful when working in music, but we're not talking about that now. What I would say is that previous video on exponentials talks about starting at x is, as y is one when x is zero and going all the way up when at positive values of x and going all the way down to zero and negative values. Now, logarithms are quite different. Since it's an inverse function of the exponential family of functions, it starts at x equals to zero at negative infinity. It is at one, when x is one, y is zero, and it goes very slowly up, very slowly than any polynomial function you ever define. For example, At first, you might think, yeah, root x surpasses log 2x. We'll see where. But actually, we won't see where because we all know log 2x or any logarithm at all can go more slowly than any polynomial, whether it surpasses it or not. Now, back to this. Since it only takes values from half, because half returns a negative value, when put in log 2, 1 returns a 0, 3 has a positive value, which is already here, 
at 17 it has an even bigger positive value so log 2 17 is approximately 4.1 now let us draw the graph here from 0 to pi and 2 pi now sine x is 0 when x is 0 pi and 2 pi sine x is 1 when it is pi over 2 and sine x is minus 1 when x is 3 pi over 2 now since we know the shape of the graph let us do this so if it turns a positive value here and at 1 it is 1 so it's 0 so it returns back to 3 so it must reach 0 here somewhere so we'll draw it like this and it returns a really big positive value at 3 pi over 2 so we'll draw it like this making sure that these three points are the exact same place as with any side graph this is actually option a and there you have it this rather formidable equation using a trigonometric identity and a like identity about logarithms which is my favorite logarithm of the long x which are which we talked about is actually makes a really beautiful looking graph there's a, actually a polynomial equation, albeit you can't see it for those of you who are new to trigonometric. And the log 2 sounds like you're putting a log in the middle of the graph. <laughs> so anyways, enough jokes for now. This actually looks interesting. And there you have it. This question is question H. And see you. Bye.